Welcome back everyone. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can speed up video in Final Cut Pro 10. So today is Memorial Day and I did a bunch of still shooting on a tripod on my balcony of the view that I have of downtown Cleveland and the lake and just all the boats that were out on the water and on such a gorgeous weekend. And so I took a bunch of different video spots and really what I want to do is just put together a nice little you know kind of intro to summer video uh, just something I'm kind of playing around with um, and so what I did is took like 30 minute uh, gaps uh, shots um, because on the DSLR you can only record up to like 29.59 seconds for whatever reason so I took a bunch of 30 minute videos and what I want to do is import those videos and then speed up those videos so you can see kind of the sky moving the water moving the boats running around the water now we'll put some music behind it and and just do some cool things. So we'll take a look at that in probably another video, but I just want to focus on today how you can speed up a video. Uh, if you're new to Final Cut Pro, you may not know how to do this. If you are uh, been using Final Cut Pro forever, then you probably already know this. But let's jump into this. So I'm going to import my media here. I just have this video of me here. This is just, again, on a tripod. You can see some boats running around. You can see the sky moving, the water moving. And so I'm just going to import this, pull this onto our timeline here. And I want to speed this up. I want this because I have 30 other clips I want. So I'm going to kind of change the speed of this. So now there's two ways to do this. So I'm going to show you both. So if you come into here, you have your video selected. If you come right up to here uh, and go to fast or normal or custom, so you go slow, fast, normal, or custom, you can change the speed of the video. So let's go in here and go to fast and go to 8x, and we're going to see that it shrinks that video down a lot. And if we start playing it, you'll see that it really starts to move. And you can see the speed here is 800%. So I'm going to undo that and actually show you another way that you can do this. So let's drag our video on here. With our video selected, I'm going to Command R on the Mac. All right, so now you have this green bar here and right away it's at a normal of 100%. I'm gonna come in and change this to a custom speed. So let's just say I wanted to change this to a certain speed of my liking. Let's go ahead and say that I want this to be at 2400%. When I hit enter, it goes ahead and shrinks that down to the video size that it'll be if we use that speed. So you can see that we're under 15 seconds here. And that's kind of what I'm looking for because, again, I have like 30 different videos. So now if we go ahead and play this, you can really start to see that time lapse effect with the boats racing across, across the water, the water moving, the sky moving in the background. And this is really what I'm going for with this video. So being having the ability to speed up the time of the video is really what we're looking for here when creating a time lapse so i hope that was helpful a couple different ways that you can go ahead and speed up your video if you like this please go ahead and subscribe like this video and let me know what you think thanks guys